Hey, last month I was tagged by my friend Bunny to do the beauty scenario tag. There are eight questions all related to beauty, so today I'm gonna answer to them. You have to get rid of all your foundation and you can only keep one high-end and one drugstore. Which one do you keep? I don't really apply foundation during summer and spring. I prefer to use BB creams, but I do use them during winter and fall and I actually have two favorite ones. The first one is the Vita Lumiere Aqua by Chanel, which I really like. It's high-end, but the texture is so particular and it feels like you have nothing on your skin but it still gives you a really nice coverage and for the drugstore one I will definitely pick my Revlon Color Stay because it really sticks to your skin it has higher coverage so that's great if you are breaking out or you just want to look flawless for a night out you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? I don't think that having something on your teeth is that big of a deal. Normally I will just warn a friend about it, but since this is more of a formal situation, I don't think that I will actually tell her, because if I do I think that it would just become weird and awkward, so I would rather prefer to avoid that, and honestly I wouldn't even be bothered by it because I will be more focused on listening what she actually has to say than staring at her teeth. You're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up. Which lipstick do you put on to make Make yourself feel beautiful. I would definitely just put on my favorite lipstick. It has been for a year now and I just really love it. It's by the brand Makeup Forever and it's in the shade Rouge Artist Intense 22 and I just think that it's a very pretty nude shade that really works with my skin tone. Actually I'm going crazy about it because I think I ran out of all the ones that I bought and I don't know where I can buy them in UK because I got them from USA and now I don't have them anymore so if you know where I can get it here just please let me know. You go back in time for a day to your teenage years, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? This is pretty easy, when I was younger I used to put on a lot of blush and I would just think that it was the prettiest thing ever but it really wasn't, it looked ridiculous so I would stop that and for my hair I had this period in my life in which I just cut it on my own which I still do but I would just take the top part of my hair and cut it very short so it would look like a carrot and I thought it looked so cool but it really 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 didn't. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie law haircut but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you a smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical, b cry in the chair and things get awkward or c complain to the manager and demand a refund? This actually happened to me in the past and I definitely know how I would react. I would just smile, saying thank you, that it's okay, I don't mind it, then I would just walk off quietly and cry as soon as I get back home. Your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have one hour to pack. Which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Every single time I travel, I always make sure that I pack my trusty naked palette. It's the basic one, so it's a bit smaller, it's very compact. It has six different shades and I usually tend to only use the lightest ones, but I really like it because it kind of gives you the chance to try out a ton of different looks with just six shades. Your house has been robbed, don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? If my house has been robbed, which actually happened already twice, makeup would be the last thing I would think about. But if I really had to pick one single thing, it would have to be this makeup brush by Elizabeth Arden. And I would pick this one because it's the very first thing that I've ever owned related to makeup. My mom bought it for me, so I really like it to these days and I will probably keep it forever, so that's what I will look for. Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? When I give my stuff to someone, I usually don't even expect to get it back, so even if she comes back to me and give it to me, I would just tell her that she can keep it and if I really want it, I can just buy a new one for myself. So these were all the questions, I really hope you enjoy watching this video and that's it for today. Bye! Thanks for watching!